Okay, I'm back with part three. Here we go again. I just tried. I, I, I tried to do another video and I deleted it because I'm just that good on the computer. Yes, I am. Okay, what you didn't see, um, I decided to put, I couldn't help it. It was too plain, just like the inside, the whites that I said I was going to try to leave. Y'all know, too plain. And the front, even though I don't want a whole lot on it, um, yeah, it needed something else. So, I used part of my snippet for this. It's still pretty flat. It'll still fit in my purse, and it still looks adorable. And I left this longer. We can always cut that off later, but I'm afraid this is going to get a little fatter and make sure I need, um, I mean, I have all that I need there. So, what I'm doing right now is I was thinking we need a pocket here and I can't find anything to fit so I brought this out and I know it's got all kinds of different stuff this was for um, another journal that I was doing but it's got some some greens and neutrals and different things so I'm going to cut out one to fit this pocket with maybe a little pull tab on it and let's see I measured it a while ago. I can't remember for sure because it's, it's a shallower pocket. So it's about two and a quarter. So I need to cut it at two. And let's say two and seven and three fourths. Maybe. No, two and seven and a half. For goodness sake, Rose, find a pen. Because I'll forget everything. Two and seven and a half. And then I think I'm going to put a, I want to make a little tab. So I'll put a little tab here and I may do that with this. So a little, little tiny bit of that will stick out and pull this together. So I know you don't want to watch me try to figure out how to cut the paper and do all that. So be back. Here we go. I forgot I had the music on. Sorry. Um, I just cut out some of that. What do they call them? Master boards? Whatever. Whatever they're called that I used for. Um, for that other journal. But I cut that out. And then I had some scrap of... Amy's paper. So this, the paper is still the only one I ever use in any of my books. It is from Darkwood Sanctuary. Look how beautiful. This is her um, coffee dye, I believe. Maybe tea, but coffee, I think. And so I sewed around the outside, which I always feel love to use my sewing machine. And used part of the snippet as a tab. So it'll pull some of this into here on this side and I think it looks adorable oh my goodness I got a mess who's been in my room making a mess I put some of this up here's some tags that we've already worked on or I did I don't remember if y'all helped or not so get your stuff together and we are going to jump inside. First thing I'm going to do, I think, is I need a pocket. I do, I do. Or should I put it in the back only? Okay, I know I'm going to put one in the back. Let's think about this. That I'm going to leave maybe. Hmm, I'm thinking. I know I need a pocket for receipts or uh, whatever. I do have this in the middle that I can add stuff to. List. That's what I'm going to need. I'm going to need a place for lists. Like Christmas lists or whatever. 
So I think this is such a cute little fancy pocket. That's what I need to do. We might just do a small one and we'll fix this up and maybe put it here. No, nope, I'm going to make a pocket across here and something that I can have a back and a little pocket. So let me gather that up. We'll work on it together. Okay, I think I found something. Don't think I'm crazy because I know it's a little vintagey looking, but I just can't help myself. That's adorable. And it's kind of a vintage truck, right? It'll be fine. It's mine. So let me figure out how to tear this up where I can maybe use part of it later. Ha ha ha. That Merry Christmas is cute. I can probably make a pocket out of that in the back too. So I'm just going to cut this off and then I'll straighten it up or whatever we need to do. Okay. That will be adorable, won't it? Okay, let me cut this and make sure it's straight. Now this is a totally off the cuff kind of project. I don't have anything planned. I don't do tutorials. So I hope you don't mind the disorganization of it all. Oh no. Okay. Because I am honestly just going with it. And I keep reminding myself, it's mine, it's mine, it doesn't have to be perfect. So if that sticks out, I don't want to cut any off, so I'm not. And I really, really want that bottom part, even though the white's kind of ugly, we can fix that because I want it to be deeper where things will fit. So, let's see what we can do here. Oh my goodness, my nose is itching like crazy. You know we got to ink. Always. I don't know, I might have should have um let me get some stays on brown because that's gonna rub off. Or we have this. Let's do some cocoa. This is from Close to My Heart. Oh, okay. Oops. Making a mess, y'all. Making a mess. I told you, I'm not very organized. I'm sorry. But I never know what I'm going to do. Am I even in frame? Oh, forgive me. Okay, this ought to dry and stay. Oh, I always make a mess. Sorry. Oh, no, that's 
Let's just have our rubble, I guess. Okay, we need this and the snow to sparkle. So I have Wink of Stella somewhere, but I don't think you want me to wait to dig it out because I don't know where I put it. But I also have this I've never played with. I wonder what this would do. I have this one, but with this, I think I kind of like the gold. This one is, what are these things called? This one is Glitter Kiss. And, I don't know, it says Metallic Gilding Polish. Enchanted Gold and Frosted Sparkle Kiss. Let's do the Enchanted Gold and see what happens. So, maybe. Okay. I think I'm going to just use a little brush. I know you can't see that, I don't think, but I like it. Now let's hope it dries good on this. Oh, that's adorable. And I'm going to go ahead. That needs more. And maybe right through here. Okay, you're probably thinking you're getting carried away. But it's cute and I like it. Now, I didn't think about roughing this up. So, let's hope it dries. Now I like it. It's not so white. Plain. Let's put some over here. Yep. Getting carried away. Okay. That's kind of fun to play with. Dunk that for right now. And can you see? I just added a little bit. Oh, and it's trying. So, where's my little doohickey? It's not plugged in. So, we're just going to lay this over here, let it dry, and um, keep going. I may have to use this again. So I think I want this kind of plain. I may do a little bit of a Merry Christmas kind of something here. I guess we could do that. Let's try this. Because there's blue in that too. Hold on. Let me cut it. I got a mess over here too. I got to clean up. Okay. Oh, I might need to do cut just a little bit off of that. You see the blue here though? So, looks kind of cute. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'll be right back.
that was my 16 year old coming out to tattle on the dog she's a shih tzu and she's five months younger than him so she'll be 16 in january and she got a hold of something she wasn't supposed to have and he was afraid she'd choke okay what i'm gonna do with this and she wouldn't give it up to him either uh, i think i'm gonna back it with some old old um muslin well, here's some newer stuff that's pretty thick i could do that Yep, I kind of like that. And I'm going to sew around it. And this way I can put Merry Christmas and I can put December Daily in the year. That is, if I can find what I'm looking for. And make me remember to put these up. I can't use these on paper. Doesn't have to be all that straight. Like I said, it's all mine. We got this. And I think... Let's go down here and trim it up some. Okay. Well, dang, I think it's still a little bit long. So we'll take a little more off. How's that look? Pretty good. And I can even put some uh, cheesecloth. And I think I've got some dyed cheesecloth under there, too. And then I'll stitch it in, or stitch around it and glue it in. Okay, we've got this all. This was sewn December Daily 2021, and I put it in our pocket. And so... Really cute. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Something needs to be here. Oh, she's a cutie. Can't really see her there. See about this. Those I want to write on. Let's come in some. We could just make a few things and then find a spot for it. is so we'll just mark it here and whoa and mark it there let's see what that does 
That needs to go somewhere else. I'll probably do that. Unless I want to use any of this. Maybe. So I won't throw that away. I know I'm a pack rat. Can't get rid of anything. I might need it. Oh, for the love of Pete, where'd I put it now? Oh, there it is. I wonder, I've got some different library pockets. I guess it'll matter too, too much. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, but I've already cut, I mean, yeah, cut that down, so. Let's see what stamps I have right here. You could only, only see the mess. I can come back to that. I'm, I'm going to put stuff in there too, so. I'm not going to sew around this. I normally would. But I'm trying to be a little better. About being a little bit more free. And I could have used my double sided tape for this too. I didn't think about it. I've gotten so used to fabric tack. And I need to keep it maybe a little flatter, so if I use any embellishments or like lace or anything, it needs to be a little bit it's not too bad. We'll see. got the deer sun I can explain a 
We have a little elf. Where's my cute little kid? Oh. She looks a little mischievous. I think I put her already in the front. I just think these are cute in the pockets. I don't know. So anybody else thinking for Christmas this year yet? I'm always, always, always late. So I thought I would get a little bit of a head start. And I honestly didn't think I would do very well getting it together because... Well, hello there. Because I didn't think I would get in the Christmas mood, spirit, whatever. And I'm not exactly there yet, but this is helping some. So this, I can put a tag, and then she is adorable. I'll get a little bit of a plainer tag and put in there. And I think that little elf is adorable. He's so cute. It's not going to come through if I use it, though, if I use the Fabri-Tac on that. It's just really old muslin. You know, it doesn't matter because it's mine, right? Why is that air conditioning coming on? I got a jacket on. through it's not going to be too bad I can't even see it yet so let's see let's move it over some and put his cute little butt down there in the corner to ink him. Oh well. Too late now. Gotta remember stop and think and ink. Now, let's see where we want him. Make sure we're right side up. Yep. We want our little pocket. I think we want it on the red side. I can write on that side. Be fine. And let's see how sticky this is. I don't even know where I got these things. So I think to be on the safe side, 
we're going to put a little glue I don't know why this camera it's been jumping in the last few videos so if you know why that would happen let me know that is super cute and we'll put another pretty colorful card in there and I just pulled some of that stuff out Let's see what I got over here um, from this is some of the stuff I've gotten from Darkwood Sanctuary. Oh, this would be cool. It's, I don't know if you can see the color exactly, but it's a coffee filter and it's um, a really dark green, but it's more of an emerald than what you're seeing. And here's some of her colors that, that she's dyed for me. And also, I can come back to that if we need that blue. Um, these make super cute pockets. So I think that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to make a pocket. And it's going to, I'm going to have to sew it. So give me a sec. Okay. Couldn't find them. But, then I looked at where they were supposed to be, and I actually put them away. So, that was good. Um, these are some of Amy's little dip cards. I, get, I don't know what she calls them. But, to me, they're fun, and I love them. I love to do things with them. So, this one... That's just pretty good. Yeah. And she has this size and she has some little babies. Aren't they adorable? Anyway, there's that. Now, where am I going to put them? I'll put them right here. So I can lose them again in a minute, I guess. <laughs> and this is how the coffee filter turned out. I just folded and folded. And there you go. I think I'm going to leave it this time. Normally, I would put some of her paper on the back and for somewhere to write and sew it. I'm not going to do that this time because um, I can just write over that. I'll put the dark part right here. Nope. Little image. Come on. Little image. Here she is. And you can tell I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just picking up what I have and going with it. And I love these cute little kids. I think they are adorable. <coughs> and that's what I want this full of. Just things that I like that are fun and sweet and cute. We can do a Merry Christmas. Let's see. Nope. We can also let me find where is my terror ruler? It's right here in front of me. This might be a little bit too tiny. But let's see.
I'm forgetting to talk to you. I'm sorry. One of those people somehow sometimes have trouble doing two things at once, huh? This tiny little Merry Christmas. Oh, I think that's cute. Oh, my glue's having trouble from volcanoing out. Let's do it right side up, Rose. Where are we on time? Ooh, 38 minutes. We'll probably end it pretty quick here in just a second after we get this page in. And what I'll do is go back in a little bit. And then we will, I'll work on it. And um, then we can come back together and do a walkthrough and see what else I've come up with. I may come back before if something just really, really interesting pops up, but I don't know. Let's see, this has some greens and blues in it. It's just a little ruffle. I think we might put that on top you say. Okay, now this I've got to sew on. Hold on. love the color and then you still write on the back and it will go right in this pocket and then I still may put a little something on here like that let me finish it up then just for a quick so I said here's this left over that matches that top hmm this must be um, like from a very old advertisement or something super cute. You know, it's mine. I can leave it a little bit plain if I want to. So, you see how hard for me it is not to 
put more. But I also think as I go through, I can do a little bit more as I'm journaling or whatever. So I love that. And let's see. Let's find a page. Yep, I kind of like it on the red page. What do you say? I think so too. And I can still journal all around it. Oh, I forgot about that. It's going to come through a little bit, but I don't care. It's mine. It's mine, mine, mine. I cannot believe I'm keeping, keeping something that I'm making. And then we can put this in the pocket. And that's just adorable. And there we go. I will work on it some more. And like I said, if I find anything extra interesting that I'm doing, I will come back on. Otherwise, I'll come bring you back and we'll do a walkthrough of the finished December daily. I hope everybody is inspired to make one and tell me how you use yours. What all do you put in yours? Like I said, I've never, I've made journals and um, I, I just never use them. <laughs> so give me some ideas. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.